Emma, um, just for the record, because I've read Hansard, when the Home Secretary said, deliberately provocatively, mm. we're under invasion, Kent is under invasion, she was not saying Albanians. She did say in her speech, however, that there's been a sharp increase in the number of Albanians, some of whom have become involved in criminal gangs, some of whom, she says, are pretending they're under the age of 18 when they're clearly not. Do you think Albanians are being unfairly demonised? I think there are so many complexities around this. I think the people coming from Albania who are desperately trying to escape economic turmoil and political turmoil in their own country are not the same as the criminal gangs who are running the routes. And I think we do need to separate those two groups of people because if we just say they're all criminals, then we are in danger of demonising a whole group of people that we shouldn't be demonising. Um, there are criminals, there are criminals running the routes, there are criminals, as, as Mark was saying, making an awful lot of money out of misery. And I think there are a great many things that we could be doing better in order to change that, change the way that people try to come here, change the fact that people may not want to come here in the first place, change the way that we manage the system when they do arrive and change the way that we manage the system if we decide that they are not appropriate people for us to be giving asylum or to, to get a visa. So I think there are so many different questions that need to be raised. And I think none of that is helped when people like the Home Secretary simply make it a matter of rhetoric and using terms like invasion rather than actually doing the hard yards and putting the work in to have a system. Cooling the, dia cooling the rhetoric and increasing the dialogue is what's needed in this. I think, um, that apart from the cost of living crisis, I think what's happening across the channel is turning into one of the talking points in the country, one of the big issues. Uh, I don't want to bring Brexit into it, but of course it was all about border control, some said. Uh, the, the, the sense that thousands of people are crossing the border. We've got a cost of living crisis. The NHS is under huge pressure. There's not enough homes for people. Uh, uh, and uh, so the more people who are coming in illegally, often disappearing because the processing system is a shambles, it's becoming, in my view, the, the big political issue. I think it's one of the big political issues. Um, I think, and I don't wish to deny that, uh, I think it's... Um, Self-defeating when people on the left try to pretend that, that, that people aren't concerned about this, particularly people in Kent. I've got family in East Kent. I know that it is very difficult for people to have a proper conversation about this and to be heard and to feel that they're being heard when they raise concerns. So I, I don't wish to deny any of that. I don't think it is as pressing as the cost of living um, for most people, particularly people outside of the southeast where the, the landings are happening, where the processes are happening and or in many ways not happening, mm. certainly not happening in any sense well. Um, I do think that there are complexities around this. So you mentioned the NHS crisis. Mm. Part of the NHS crisis is a staffing crisis. Yeah. We are bringing more and more people in from abroad in order to staff the NHS. That's not necessarily um, part of the dialogue when we talk about immigration, but it needs to be.